the love of a teacher. They'll do anything to make sure their students succeed in the classroom, even if that means tapping into their personal funds, sometimes stretching themselves thin. Meredith Cole is a fine arts teacher in Dallas. She's among the droves of educators who open their wallets each year to equip their classroom. Pencils and pens and markers and dry erase boards. But not without a little help. You have a first-year teacher salary, and it's like, man, I'm going broke doing this. Meredith, like so many others, says she creates an Amazon wish list, where she picks items that others can purchase to go toward her classroom. Without the help, she says her room would be pretty bare. I should feel like I have enough money to do that. But at the end of the day, with how expensive everything is with the economy, like, you know, you have to allow people to do that for you. A survey conducted by Consumer Bird says Texas tops the list of where teachers spend the most money on their classrooms, averaging about $1,300 per year. 93% of teachers say that money comes from their own pocket, and 26% say they have a second job. I was babysitting still. I was uh, doing tutoring. I was having to do side jobs. I'm just the teacher salary. Alyssa Niedrauer taught for seven years. From that survey, she checks every box, only sometimes getting financial assistance. Depending on the school district, sometimes you might get a hundred dollars. Sometimes you got nothing. She recalls spending at least one thousand dollars a year out of pocket toward her classroom. I was single during that time, so it was it was easier for me to be able to to do that. For someone that has a family. Um, that is very hard. While these stats could be a deterrent for some to stay away from teaching, Alyssa and Meredith don't think it's the nail in the coffin. Their best advice for teachers, though, is to reuse past purchases and join supply swap groups. We're doing the best we can despite everything. In Dallas, I'm Natalie Haddad.